Lucia Lucy Harris passed away on January 18, 2022. The sports reporter stated that she had been a star basketball player who in 1992 was the first black woman to be inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts. She was escorted to the podium by her favorite basketball player, Oscar Robertson. Joan and I grew up in Springfield and have been to the Hall of Fame several times and sadly never noticed anything about her. Who knew to even look for her? That is going to change today. Lucia Harris was born in Mentor City, Mississippi on February 10, 1955 to her sharecropper parents, Ethel and Willie Harris. She was one of 11 children. Growing up, Lucy was teased because of her height. The kids would say, long and tall and that's all. When Lucy went to Amanda Elsie High School in Greenwood, Mississippi, she joined the basketball team, although she said, I did not really know much about the game, but at 6'3", I wanted to play, so I worked hard to learn the game and developed a shot that just came naturally. In one game, Lucy scored 40 points by herself, and the opposing team didn't score 40 points collectively. Her whole attitude changed and her height became an asset. She started thinking, long and tall, and that's not all. She led her team to three straight state tournaments. After graduation, Lucy had planned to attend Alcorn State University, an HBCU. Alcorn did not have a women's basketball team, so she chose to go to the predominantly white Delta State University in Cleveland, Mississippi, at the risk of her own life, just to play basketball. Back then, black people could not eat in the same buildings as white people walk on the same sidewalks, or even look white people in the eyes. Harris was the only black player on the team. Lucy said, I had seen white people before, but I had never talked to them. This was in 1974, not so long ago. While playing at Delta State, she led the school to three consecutive national titles in the NCAA Division III from 1975 through 1977. She finished her college basketball career with 2,981 points and 1,662 rebounds, a record that remains intact today. In the 1976 Montreal Olympics, the first time women's basketball was played at the games, Lucy scored the first basket. The United States earned a silver medal. Education was also important to Lucy. From Delta State, she earned a Bachelor of Science in Education degree in 1977, a master's in education degree in 1984, and an honorary doctorate degree in 2014. She was also inducted into the Delta State Sports Hall of Fame in 1983 and the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame in 1999. She has also been named to the International Women's Sports Hall of Fame. Lucy was also the first and only woman officially selected in the seventh round of the NBA draft by the New Orleans Jazz, she turned them down because at the time, she had married her high school sweetheart, George Stewart, and they were planning to start a family. They raised four children who are all college educated and successful. Once Harris Stewart's basketball career was over, she led a quiet but sometimes troubled life due to mental health issues. She had a love of teaching and held various jobs in Mississippi and Texas. In 1999, she was enshrined into the women's Basketball Hall of Fame in Knoxville, Tennessee. A documentary entitled The Queen of Basketball premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival in June 2021. It tells the story of Lucy's life and career as one of the greatest women basketball players in U.S. history, in addition to her struggles with mental health. It was directed by Ben Proudfoot for the New York Times with Shaquille O'Neal as an executive producer. The film received an Oscar nomination for Best Documentary, Short Subject. Her family wrote in a statement following her passing. She will be remembered for her charity, for her achievements both on and off the court, and the light she brought to her community, the state of Mississippi, her country as the first woman ever to score a basket at the Olympics, and to women who play basketball around the world. Thank you, Lucia Lucy Harris Stewart. As 2 Timothy 4.7 says, you have fought the good fight, you have finished the race, and you have remained faithful. Rest in peace, Lucy.